All right, this is an awful transition to somehow get away from Helix Sleep one more well, time. Well, let's talk let's talk about the capitalism versus the communism and ver- the the money making versus the apparently expensive hobbies. See, I was going into the finances because we have we have heard that and, and there is documentation out there that AEW is spending even more money than we thought they were. And you got to tell me exactly what this is, because there's a lot of paperwork, and I hate to go through this fine print, but I had seen this on the internet several days ago, and I thought, well, somebody's made this up. There's no way this is this is bullshit. Somebody's mocked this up and trying to get over and you know be a, be a hero on the internet, and then apparently this is some goddamn official government paperwork that was filed and if somebody did mock this shit up they're going to be in court getting mocked around and it has the expenses that aew had the money they spent the various things they did for the television production and overall events that they did in in las vegas at that double or nothing right that that weekend they were there doing whatever the fuck they did and th- were they trying to get, because again, there's 15 pages of this shit, but State of Nevada Incentive Calculation Worksheet Budget Breakdown, lots of fucking things that have to be initialed and signed. They were trying to get a tax credit. That's right. If for the State of Nevada, because they were shooting <laughs> apparently what they've, what they claimed was a big league television production. We know what it really was, but so they have to, you have to tell the city or state authorities how much money you spend on everything in order to get a tax credit of some description. Now help me say that in English. Tell the people what the fuck this is. In order to receive a tax credit, you have to file... Paperwork, because actually the paperwork that we have that was going around that's on the official government website, it's not just AEW's application. There's a second application for another production on here. And AEW is looking for a tax credit. In order to get that, they have to supply information. A lot of different states or different cities have incentive programs to try to get productions to, you know, not just wrestling, obviously, but actually television and movies. You know, you've seen a lot of things where Atlanta has been aggressive in getting a lot of stuff uh, to be shot there. There's a lot of different places, and Nevada is trying to be competitive in a lot of different ways. They have a tax credit program. It's nothing unique. And AEW broke down the costs for at least that weekend for what everything was going to be. Well, apparently a collision and the pay-per-view is what they did. Double or nothing. That week at double or nothing and and collision. And I've, there's, what is there, 25 fucking pages of this shit, but I'm trying to find the one that has the main, the, there it may be. Am I reading this right when they say that the total budget, and I may be leaning into the microphone here because it's the print is so fine on my computer screen, but the total budget for the pay-per-view and a collision taping is written down here that they gave to the state of Nevada $3.8 million. That would be correct, yes. And talent is listed at $2 million of that. So let's just uh, let's look at this a little bit here. Airfare, $150,000. If, if I was Tony, I'd think about buying Greyhound. It might be cheaper. How much of that is private? Are guys, well, who, are guys who fly private allowed to turn in a receipt? What is that? Are they written planes to go to the goddamn shows now over there? What? Fly private? Catering, $50,000. Good God, you could feed half of fucking Bangladesh. Um, hold on, here's a good one. Hotel. Yeah. 
$250,000 for hotels for two events. In-house security, $60,000. Are they really that convinced any of these fuckers are going to get enough heat to cause a riot? Does that include Tony Khan's, like, private security guard? Well, if he is and he still fears for his life, then he's fucking hired the wrong guy. LED screens, lighting, and rigging total $105,000. Local management services, $100,000. How you doing? Who's the local management? You're asking too, many, it, you're asking too many questions, partner. Did they... Did they fucking rent out the bunny ranch for a fucking three-day wing ding? <laughs> Operations and technical support crews, $400,000. Well, it costs a lot of money to get it up for pay-per-view. But uh, get it up for pay-per-view? Get it up on, the, uh, up on the satellite. But look, operational and technical support crews, four hundred grand. Production consultants, fifteen grand. Local management services, a hundred grand. Lighting and rigging, seventy-five grand. Conversion and electrician. Oh, they don't have a line. Item. Rental cars, thirty grand. Is that a lot? Um, Jesus Christ. Okay, what what does a car cost per day these days? A rental car, because I haven't rented one in a while. I don't know. At least a few. I haven't either, but at least a few hundred dollars. I have to think if you want what? To get something. Well, Wait, if you want to get what? something you're not all crammed in and what no per a couple hundred bucks a day if you want to get was, something I, nice I, 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 you could get something from fucking enterprise or goddamn budget for fifty nine dollars five years ago so let's let's say it's let's say it's hundred and fifty dollars and let's say ten of them would be fifteen hundred dollars let's say a hundred of them would be fifteen thousand dollars. And you know, let's say 200 of them would be $30,000. Uh, but rigging and riggers, 66000 I was just going over all of the, the, the crew. There's crew and crew and crew. But then sound package, $40,000. Stage hands, $135,000. That's a lot of hands. All hands a lot of hands in the cookie jar. <laughs> Good God. Let's say if, if a stagehand, a union stagehand in Las Vegas, it, does he make $1,000 a day? Then they need 135 of them? Oh, you, you know what? You were right, by the way. I'm looking right now on uh, Expedia. If I wanted to rent a car in Vegas for a day, I can get like a cheap one for 34 but uh, the nicest one on this page is... A luxury Corvette, $120 a day. So give me 50 of those. Um, transportation of show goods. Merch, right? $50,000 to take the merch to the building? Is it, I, <laughs> Again, you know, I don't know what these costs would, should be. It seems like a lot. I've never, hey, I worked for the goddamn biggest wrestling promotion on the face of the earth. And if you had handed Vince McMahon, at least back in those days, something that looked like this for two days of fucking, a, a day of TV taping of the B show and the, uh, and a pay per view, he would have lost his fucking mind. But and and that's and the a difference. Bit. You had someone there who, if you handed it to, they'd be able to know their money and say this is ridiculous. Versus, who knows who's in charge of what that gets the Tony cleanup fourteen thousand dollars. Ground transport. Oh, ground transportation two thousand dollars. I guess they just called everybody a fucking yellow cab. Uh, well, they bought it, well, they bought every rental car. Wait a time. minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Miscellaneous show props, $7,500. They spent as much on props as Jim Crockett used to fucking spend to do goddamn four hours of television. In the music industry, if you wanted to get cocaine or something, you would put it in the expense report as party favor. Well, they've smartened up to that. Now it's show props. <laughs> Pyro services, $36,000. Seems like you could set fire to all this money a whole lot cheaper than that. 
Hey, Tony, that guy's at the door with the props. <laughs> Should we let him in? Now, what, what, what building did they run in Las Vegas? Uh, hold What's on. the name of that building? We may have to scroll up for that. Let's because see. Because apparently the rent is listed. I guess they were there for two days, $110,000. Uh, the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Okay, well, it costs fifty-five thousand dollars a day, apparently. Staging, ten thousand dollars. But anyway, and then uh, d down at the bottom, just hiding there, just like it's a regular fucking thing you would put on a sheet. Talent, two million dollars. For two shows. Because that's what the, that's what they're ap applying here, and some of the amateur mathematicians out in the uh, in the internet land have said, "Well, that means that the AEW talent cost is one hundred and four million dollars a year because they take two times fifty two. But that's not exact. You can't do that. But no, because this is just for collision and pay-per-view. It didn't even count Dynamite that week, right? And there were plenty of people not on those shows. Not like everyone's booked on every show. Where was Kenny Omega? He's well, injured. But, if he was there, how much would that talent budget be? But is is, is this a prorated amount? Like, we're just going to write that we pay $2 million a week for talent, so we're going to write that down? Well, that's the thing. It or is a is flat this... number. It's a flat number. Well, yeah, but is yeah. this a million dollars a fucking day? Or, or is this... I mean, what is this? So the point being, they have given these figures to the state government trying to get a tax credit. And one would think that the tax credit they're going to get because they have to do this would be somehow tied to what they spend and if there's, it's broken down into Nevada expenditures, non-qualified expenditures, total qualified, total non-qualified, blah, 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 non-Nevada. So you would think that they would take a dim view over in Reno or wherever. The, where's the state capital? I don't know. Is it Reno? I believe it's Reno. It's got to be Reno. Hold on. Bermuda, Jamaica. Oh, it's I'm not. Gonna... It's not part of Kokomo. I know that. Carson City. Carson City. Well, down in Carson City, they're gonna get fucking highly pissed if this is bullshit. So we need to take this as as some level of legitimate, even if they've got a screwy way of keeping their books and. They apparently don't give a fuck if they pay people thousands of dollars a day to fucking sweep up. $2 million? Again, you're dealing with someone who sees money and the realities of money hit him in a very different way than it would the average person. And if you know that there's an endless budget and you can keep playing around with it. And to be quite honest, I know Shad Khan said in an earlier interview years ago that his attitude was, why not give Tony his inheritance now and let him have some fun? While I'm still here to see him enjoy it. While I'm still here to see him enjoy it. If he has spent a few hundred million dollars on AEW, that's still just <sighs> the tip of the iceberg. That's nothing. So... It's ridiculous in terms of practicality of running a business, especially considering the results you get for the talent that apparently he's spending a million dollars a show on. You Again, like you said, we don't know how to read that. Is it a million dollars a show? Is it two million dollars a week? We don't know. Does that count people who are not on the roster currently but are still being paid? There's a lot of people always injured. Always. But AEW, so, uh, AEW doesn't have to live with the realities that Smoky Mountain Wrestling had to live with, Jim Crockett <laughs> Promotions had to live with, Mid-South Wrestling had to live with, that the World Wrestling Federation for many years had to live with. They don't have to be careful with a buck ever. Okay, here, And because here's... of that, unfortunately, and because there's no strong leadership, and this is where the two things come together, people just go crazy. Because I'm sure if there was someone in there, and it doesn't need to be Bill Watts with a bat, 
<laughs> but if there was someone in there and they really looked at who's being paid and what's being spent, there's probably a lot of ways to cut down on money being spent even more than they're trying to do now. Well, and, and I'm going to, you made a point that I'm going to follow up on, but I've just noticed something else. Total talent budget, $2 million. Nevada residents, 25000 Non-Nevada residents, 1975000 Who lives in Nevada? That guy got twenty five grand. Or did they use a few local guys, and that's twenty five grand spread out oh, amongst sh- a few people? But here's, here's what I was going to say. You made a point about the WWF even for years didn't have to, or could, couldn't live in this alternate reality. Even Uncle Dave has made a big deal out of the amount, the percentage of revenue that goes to the talent in the WWE, right? And in UFC, because in pro sports, you know, the boxers clean up and basketball and football, they're getting like half the money or whatever. In the UFC, I think they figured it was, and that's why one of the fighter, or one of these recent fighter lawsuits was about, it's 20 something percent or whatever. And I think Dave has pegged the amount that the talent gets, at least as of a couple of years ago, they're spending some money up there now, versus the overall revenue in the WWE is like 10% or less, right? You've heard the same figures. Right. So that would mean that if Tony was paying $104 million a year for his talent and he was paying the same uh, percentage of his revenue as the WWF does to talent that AEW would have to be grossing what one point something billion dollars per year. If all I, I, we knew he was spending a lot of money on these people because there's so many of them and they turned down Oh, in some cases, sizable deals to go there. You know what else? And I don't know where it would have to be buried in this. I would think I have to look closely. This was the Anarchy in the Arena show where they had the Scorpion song, Final Countdown, that they later bragged was a wrestler's salary. Right? $200,000 oh. was what we heard. Wait a minute. Hold on. And what there were other songs licensed termed? too. They had the Pixies license that night. They've been using Jefferson Starship for a while. But that was the night that they used that music. That was Anarchy in the Arena. That was Swerve versus Christian. Mercedes versus Willow. Adam Copeland breaking his leg. I don't see anything here that you could you could uh, you euphemistically call, uh, call a rights fee of some kind. Would would that have gone into talent? I don't see how you would do that. There's a lot of productions and producing things. Broadcast venue productions, 150000 Nothing for the Teamsters. Yo, watch out, Tony. Well, no, hold on. That <laughs> might be... Uh... No, seriously, there was a big... Uh... Stagehands, $135,000. That's Teamsters. It says at the bottom, te- Teamsters it. payroll and benefits, zero. Oh, oh, I see. Teamsters payroll and benefits. Maybe that's a line they have to put in there because yeah. of the state. I don't know. Put but something. Put something because of your life. Put something. <laughs> but what in the world? <laughs> Wait a minute. Here's, here's a page with crew counts. Total Nevada labor, 33. Total oh. non-Nevada labor, 75. Labor performed outside of Nevada, total 108. Huh. But it has. But the wait, no, here. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. This is, this is the talent. Yeah, this is the talent. <laughs> this is the talent because it's the two million. I thought they were labor, like the the stagehands, but no. So wait a minute. That means that the uh, there's uh, three members of resident talent there, See, and they worked forty eight hours. That's what I thought. Three people and got paid ten thousand dollars. And 30 of the extras locally worked 240 hours, got paid $15,000. And then the non-Nevada talent, there was 75 of the non-Nevada talent that worked apparently from what they're putting down here, 1,200 hours, 
and got one million nine hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. To f- ah. thirty people got fifteen thousand dollars. Seventy-five people got one point nine. Million <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, uh, I mean, this is. It's in, It's just. It's insane. The hour, and, it has an hourly wage breakdown. That's interesting too. And I well, I get. I think because they have to fit whatever they're doing here to their forms, right? Um. Yeah. So there you go. Projected Four. incentive total three hundred and seventy three thousand three hundred eighty eight dollars. So they're basically they're going to save ten percent. They they spent three point eight million. Whoa! But but to, if, but if they if they get approved for all of this, caca and hoo ha, they'll get three hundred seventy three thousand back. And then it says at the bottom, proof of funds amount production company must show obtained, which is seventy percent of the total budget, two million seven hundred seven thousand seven hundred forty dollars. No, I, I believe I know what that is, and I am uh, more than willing to be corrected by members of our audience who may be in, in more of the show business uh, these days, but before they will give a tax credit to a production company, the production company has to show that they've at least got most of the money that it's going to take to, to fucking actually do what they say they're going to do in this state. And then, okay, if... It's like, I can't go to fucking Pennsylvania and say, hey, I'm going to shoot a movie. Okay. I have to show, yes, I'm funded and I have, this is going to happen. Things like that. So they had to show them they got $2.7 million. I don't think Tony had a problem with that. Good night, nurse. And it says on the last page here that they, per correspondence with Kim Spurgeon, director of the Nevada Film Office, on April 1st, council has determined these production types will qualify for the Nevada Transferable Tax Credit Program. Oh, wait a minute. The economic, the economic impact of direct AEW spending will be approximately $3.9 million, which mainly consists of the arena, rent, labor, catering, rentals, local services, etc., per diems, and hotels for freelancers and staff, a.k.a. wrestlers, related to the production. Additional economic impact on the state will include restaurants, entertainment, parking, gas, additional hotel rooms, day visitors, etc. that cannot be quantified by AEW at this time. (laughs) Also, you're going to need more rental cars. Yeah, call budget. We're going to need a bigger fucking... Fleet, um, it, can you go back to page one? Well, page one of, well, hold on, it's, there's a cover letter. So the, the first page of this form, it says All Elite Wrestling, the address in Jacksonville. What is this about? It's AEW Collision and Double or Nothing. Scripted episodic content is what they call the type of production. The producer is Mike Manzuri. And the director is Andrew Thomas. And because this is normally movies and TV shows, right? They have, Brian, are you looking at the next line uh, below Andrew Thomas? They have (laughs) the names of the principal cast. In other words, you know, okay, this is starring so-and-so. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the names of the principal cast in the order in which they appear. Aubrey Edwards, Chris Jericho, Justin Roberts, Maxwell Friedman, and others. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was four people, including the ring announcer and a referee. <laughs> and she's first. Because <laughs> she probably filled out the form. <laughs> well, no, wait a minute. It says Chad Glenn filled as Chad Glenn, like uh, Don Stevens, a num- another name for Aubrey Ed. Holy Christ on a cracker. Well, there you go. Apparently this is, I'm not going to say it's legitimate, but it's what they told the government. So that'd be good enough to get somebody in trouble. Son of a, wouldn't you know who bought the pony? And I guess it's important to note they filed this uh, sheet, the one that has the budgetary breakdown on May 16th. The event was on May 26th. So there was 10 days in between for 
uh, more money to be spent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a, here's another. There's another page with more detailed breakdowns. Story slash writers, $22,530. Producers, $197,844. Direction, $20,000. Where are you seeing this? I'm seeing this down on, just keep no, no, going no. down. That's a different, that's a different project. Oh, it is? That's for the Memek or Memek Movie LLC ah. in Reno. Okay, so wait a minute. So this, this is a goddamn actual production that's taking place. Yeah, they're trying to make a movie. It's going to cost less than Okay, <laughs> I was about to say they're making a movie. It's going to cost $872,000. What the so that yeah they got no they got no five figure fucking uh, or seven figure uh, talent involved in that thing. I'm sorry, I went down to the bottom of scrolling. Yeah. Well, these these prices look a lot more reasonable. I got extra talent forty two hundred dollars, special effects forty six hundred dollars, production film and lab thirty six hundred. Yeah, these people are fiscally responsible contingency five grand well see they're prepared i hope they and hope again, they make it it's about you know if you're gonna go work on a project and you know it's someone who's really trying to make the project work and they're pinching their pennies and they're trying to just make everything fit you'll go there and sometimes you'll work for almost nothing just to make it work and hope that things get better when you know it's someone who just spends frivolously you're not going to have that concern. That's the problem. If someone's making an indie film, no matter how good an actor they are, they're going to have to come down to earth. If someone's working for Tony, they can ask for more and more and more. And get it. And get a rental car. And get a hotel. And get everything. But, <sighs> you know, until, until his dad shuts off the checkbook, or, you know, <laughs> takes back the checkbook. This is not going to change. This is just going to continue. This shouldn't shock anyone. Where else are they filing for tax credits? $135,000 for stagehands. I have seen Gates in Madison Square Garden. Just a, a couple of thousand dollars above that. Here's a question for you. It's a wrestling company filing paperwork. Does stagehands mean stagehands, or does it mean agents and producers? No, this no, this means stagehands because hold on, if we go up, there's there's fifteen grand for production consultants. There's I don't know what they're actually calling producers, or maybe they can still consider their producers and agents talent. I mean, it's all a big happy family. But uh, no, stage hands hundred and thirty five grand. Talent, as we said, two million. There's also rigging and riggers, sixty six thousand. There's also electricians on here. Production consultants fifteen thousand. Electricians was in here somewhere. Lighting and rigging seventy five grand. The, those are all people doing those things in all of those categories. <sighs> well, that's the story. They got more people on the crew than they got in the seats. Maybe that's how they should best use the crew. Fill out the crowd. <laughs>